What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Thursday afternoon, and as I stated, the great one didn't film any videos because it was his birthday. Spent some time at the Swordfish Club. Didn't really do much except for rest and relax here. But the reason why I wanted to make this video is that, you know, some of my fellow piss troopers wanted to uh, show me this video about uh, a debate or what I assume was a debate between vegan gains and something called a demon mama there, you know. And they wanted to uh, ask for my opinion, and I'm more than happy to abide. Not oblige, abide. So, first off, I'm kind of in a quagmire because now I actually have to defend vegan gains here. So, let me take a deep breath real quick. I have to go defend vegan gains. I have to defend my cousin. Okay, I'm ready. First off, I don't know whether you're a man or woman there, Demon Mama. I'm just going to assume that you're binary, okay? Uh, number two, uh, look, if you're going to go in debate someone, you got to be honest with the facts. Now, first off, you kept ranting about you come on my show this and you come on my show that. Quit fucking bullshitting there, okay? You challenged him to a debate and you invited him on the debate. If you didn't invite him, you shouldn't have let him in his room. Not only that, Richard has no reason to actually debate you whatsoever. You have like 16,000 subscribers. He has over 324,000 subscribers. There is no reason whatsoever, no real benefit for Richard to come on to your show. It doesn't promote his subscribers. He has like maybe 30 times or excuse me, 20 times as many uh, subscribers that you do. Number two, if you're going to debate vegan gains, you should have been prepared. Okay. You should have taken notes there. You challenge him to a debate. You challenge anyone to a debate, especially someone that's really good at debating. You better have your notes on hand. It's like our debate. Uh, it was like my debate with vegan gains there. You know, I made sure that I had my notes first and just like most of my other debates, I always have myself a nice Perdomo, a little mini cigaretto before I uh, go into any debate. That calms the nerves. But that's neither here or there. Obviously, you didn't uh, take any notes whatsoever, you know. Now, one thing that really disappoints me is there was no debate at all there. Now, Richard is good at asking complex questions here, no doubt. But here's the thing, you should uh, you should have expected that when you came in there. I already knew he was going to ask complicated questions there. And that is fair game there, okay? It is a debate, all right? A debate is where you're asking complex questions. I asked him some complex questions and some leading questions, and he asked me some leading questions. I caught him with some. He caught me with some. It's a debate, people. It is a discussion between two people and the audience has to decide who is right and who is wrong, okay? But instead of answering the questions, you just broke down to insults here, you know? And you made some really ridiculous things here uh, about it, though. Uh, I mean, first off, you couldn't answer the question that he was posing to you. Uh, that was if there was nothing but meat in the grocery store, human meat, would you go vegan or would you eat human meat there? That is a trick question, but not a very hard one. Not the not as hard as the slavery one that he gave me there. You know, that could have easily been answered there. Let me give you a demonstration there. Yes, I would have gone vegan. There's a lot of things that I would rather do as a vegan, such instead of eating human meat. I would rather be on a vegan diet rather than being on a carnivore diet. I would rather screw Donald Trump in the keister rather than Biden because Trump eats a lot of hamburgers and it would help with lubrication there. You have, you're making a choice in comparison. That's how you should have answered the question, but no, instead you call them names. NPC and 
Uh, you called him uh, all sorts of names. You you said he was yelling and screaming. No, he was not yelling and screaming. You were the ones that were you were the one that was yelling and screaming during the whole conversation. And then you accused him of child pedophile and child uh, pornography. You accused him of being a pedophile, all because uh, he's somewhat he supposedly and allegedly ate Nestle products. Uh, are you, nigga, are you out your goddamn mind? I mean, seriously. Nestle products, you know, if someone eats a bar of chocolate, that doesn't make them a fucking pedophile, you idiot. Okay? Now, one other thing I do want to mention there, uh, you know, you need to get that stupid ring out of your mouth or anything. You look like the emo version of Chunk from the Goonies here, you know. Uh, that that e that ring, uh, uh, it it doesn't work well. It doesn't work well for you, okay? So you you didn't lose a debate because there was no debate. You just lost it totally. You know, you made yourself look like a complete idiot on on a live stream, and then. Whenever you made your comments and you made your insults and that you finally uh, obviously was outclassed by someone that can out debate you, you quit after 20 minutes and you cut off the stream. You Then you go and make an excuse there. Look, I saw Richard's other screen from his video. You obviously cut off the stream there. You know, shame on you. That, that's being a coward, you know. That's being a biatch, you know. If you're going to be in a debate, you debate. And, and that's another thing there. You know, if you're going to debate, you can't just go and throw insults at people. When I debated against vegan gains, you know, we didn't insult each other because it's a debate. We leave insults for our regular videos. But when it comes to a debate in regular discussion there, it's a debate there. Okay? You... you you got to toughen up a little bit. You need a little bit of a, th you need a reptilian skin whenever you're debating anyone, especially someone like vegan games there, you know, and you also have to hang in there. Me and him debated for two hours. I repeat, we debated for two hours. You didn't see me hang up on the live stream. Did you? You didn't see me hang out there. You know why? Because I have reptilian skin. All right. And I already knew what I was getting into when I challenged Richard to a debate there. Okay, I did because I only, you know, I only have 1,600 subscribers. He has, again, 300,000. I got less than you do, but I don't really promote my channel. This channel is for my fellow piss troopers, you know, and it's for mints. That's all I care about. The money that I earn from this channel goes to my website, so I end up making more money than you and I probably make on the lines of what Richard actually makes, but that's not the point, okay? You completely lost it. You blew it. You 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 messed this whole thing up. Like, Nino Brown said the G-Money, you are incapable of handling your own business. You, you lost it. It wasn't even a debate because you chickened out after 15 freaking minutes. 15! You can't, you didn't even answer his questions there. You answered a question with another question. Then you asked to repeat the question and you still didn't answer the question. You, that, that's being a coward. That's being a biatch. So I'm going to leave you with one other thing, a little bit of LGBTQ. Got to stop that hand thing. You know, it's one of those things that happen. So I'm going to leave you with a little bit of LGBTQ history, okay? Now, there was a guy a long time ago, his name was Richard Olivia, they called him Ondine. And he was one of Andy Warhol's superstars. Uh, the superstars were a collection of muses, actors, and people that were involved with Andy Warhol. Now, that's one thing, okay? Now, here's how they actually met. You, Most people don't know the story. You see, it was the 60s. I think it was like 62, 61. You can probably, I'm not sure if there's a way you can look it up here. But anyway, it was back in the early 60s, either 61 or 62. Robert was uh, decided to rent a house from a, fr uh, from a friend. He brought a lot of men. He brought a lot of women. He brought dwarfs. He brought transgender people. And they went into a back room and they had a big giant orgy. They were just screwing each other. 
you know, went on for hours, a lot of drugs, it was a big party and everything like that. Hey, it's the 60s and 70s. And lo and behold, Andy Warhol hears about the party and he decides to show up. And he stands in the corner and watches while all these people are doing drugs and screwing each other and everything. And Robert, he takes notice at Andy Warhol, notices that he ain't doing anything. So he goes and asks his friend, uh, could you please throw this thing out of my party? So once that whole orgy situation, once all the steam left the room and everything, once all the, the smells permeated from the room or anything, Lord knows, I, I think that thing needed to be painted and respackled or so forth there. I can only just imagine what was going on in that room. So finally, when Robert left the house, Andy Warhol was standing outside and he was angry. He said, Robert, why did you, th do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? You threw me out of this party. I am Andy Warhol. You threw me out of this party. Robert simply responded, I don't give a flying fuck who you are. You were not there and you were not involved. Let me repeat that again. Robert told Andy Warhol the reason why he threw him out was because he was not there and he was not involved. That's you, Demon Mama. You invite Richard onto a show. And when you actually were called to debate after challenging him to a debate, you were not involved and you were not there. You had no intentions of debating vegan games. You may have had some intentions, but once you realized just how good he is of a debater, you chickened out. You decided to not be there and you decide to not be involved. So honestly, you can either run your channel or you can just simply be that thing that gets thrown out of the party, okay? That's all I gotta say today, people, and please, Lord to God, take that stupid ring out of your fucking mouth there. You, you look like an idiot. I don't know why people, I told Repsy on take that stupid nose ring out. I don't know what's wrong. You, you can wear earrings here, you can put multiple ones here and here, you know, back in the 90s, there was nose rings and stuff like that. But right around covering your lip, you're going to get an infection when you're eating there. You know, I don't know why people do that. Get that stupid ring out. Fix your damn channel. And, you know, that's all there is today. You lost. You lost. Shame. You have embarrassed the gay community. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Peace.